Hey y'all. This is Nina Stevens and I'm in the south where sushi is still called bait. So today what I'm going to do is show you how I camouflaged my camper and what I used to do it with. Now you'll have to bear with me today because the humidity is like 150 <laughs> percent and it's like 80 degrees so the humidity is oppressive but come on back and I'll tell you what I got hey y'all okay so um, when I camouflaged my camper, um, I use Rust-Oleum Rust camouflage paint. Now, these are the colors. I have four colors. This one is khaki color. This one is earth brown. This one is deep forest green. And this one is army green. Is that right? Yes, army green. These colors are awesome. They are um, flat colors, non-reflective. They're natural looking colors. And um, to me, the overall um, coverage of these colors is awesome because the camper that I'm painting as you all know is white so they cover in one coat and since I started this camper it's been probably I want to say three four weeks that it's taken me to do this entire camper yeah because I work um full time so the only time I have to work on the camper is after work I just have a, a timeline after work every day so I've been working on it you know as I can and I'm almost done with it And I added my own design. I'm going to do a walk around and show you. But this is strictly a tutorial on how I did the camouflage design. Because my daughter-in-law, when she came out, and my son, um, they came out one day while I was working on it. And my son was like, I cannot believe you are camouflaging that camper doing that. And my daughter-in-law said, I can't believe it either. So they suggested that I do a tutorial to show how I'm doing the camouflage. Everybody has their own technique. There's nothing wrong with that. This is just how I do it. So let me get you positioned on this corner here. And uh, I'm going to show you how I did it. Hang on, I'll bring you back. So I'm going to start over here in this area here because I've already done the rest of the camper. And the lights, I taped them over. Um, instead of taking them off. Um, because by the time I get through climbing up and down the ladder. I'm tired. And the ladder scares me. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm just, I just tape over the lights. No big deal. I can go back later and clean the lights or replace the bulbs or whatever. But I just tape over them for right now. So I'm going to start with the deep forest green. Um, because I have right here, I have army green. And then right here, I have the earth brown. So I try to um, not connect the same colors. So we're going to start with this. Alright, and then I'm going to go, my daughter's driving up, sorry, 
Anyway, I try to um, make my pattern organic, not boxes and not all the same shape. I try to keep it organic. So I'm going to go with khaki. And I try to blend the edges so there's no sharp edges. <laughs> anyway I'll bring you back this is where I left off with the khaki and I was saying on this part not to make squares um, I like organic shapes like odd shapes not you know square here square here and connect them and I try to blend my edges to where there's no hard lines and if there is a hard line then I got a trick for that this is going to be earth brown. And you see how I don't let the line get sharp. I kind of blend it a little bit. So this is, what is this, army green? I'm going to take it over here. This is earth brown, so I can take it over here. Kind of blend my edges. So I'm gonna keep on doing this and then I'll bring you back to the next step. Okay, got that done. I like the off shapes of it. So now another, the next very key piece of equipment in my um, camouflage design. It's key, critical, critical is this. These are critical. This is Major Importanto. And I'll show you why. In just a second. I gotta figure out which one I wanna start with. I think I'm gonna start with this one. Yeah. So this part right here is dark. So I'm going to use the khaki, a contrasting color to do my stenciling. I'm going to use khaki and this color, the army green. I'm going to use that on the dark. So I'm going to put it up here like this. That's how I do it. On the khaki and army green sections, I'm gonna use the earth brown. And army green. Is this arm no, this is forest green, sorry. My bad. Forest green.
What's fun is try to do this on the ladder. Yeah. Just enough to make you have a heart attack. So do you see right here on this line between these two colors? If I wanted to make that disappear, I would just stencil over it. So, I think it looks awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And I'll um, scan back and let you see the whole thing. What it looks like overall because I think it's gorgeous. Hey y'all, Callie and I appreciate you watching our video. <laughs> yes, yes we do. We've got some more you may want to see. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and until next time, we'll see you later. Oh, no.